I mean, at the end of the day, the refrigerator is 36 inches wide or something, and the right. fri the freezer is like 24 inches wide. Like that's like, I'm not good at math. 70 <laughs> something. Do it. 60 inches? Did I get it? 60 inches. <laughs> Six feet of refrigeration. Six no, inches. five feet. <laughs> So you. Oh my God, the appliances in the kitchen before, they had seen better days. Obviously I love to cook, but the oven was a total disaster. It would never cook evenly and I never knew how things were gonna come out. And the stove could barely fit four pots at a time. The dishwasher was its own disaster. It barely cleaned the dishes. Is it clean? I don't know, how'd they come out? They didn't come out good. Like it was like, it literally was that bad. Well, the appliances are always a really important part of the design. So Joe needed two ovens. Scott needed a microwave or at least a speed cook oven. And they needed plenty of refrigerator and freezer space. Um, I have a refrigerator here, mm -hmm. a full refrigerator. Okay. I have, um, the freezer all the way over oh, here. Interesting. There are two reasons why I separated the refrigerator and freezer in Joe's kitchen. One was function. The freezer was used mainly by Scott. The refrigerator was used mainly by Joe. And they kind of each have their own end of the kitchen with all the things that they use the kitchen for. And also I feel like if you are using two columns, that is a lot of mass. It's too big for a room that size. So I felt like we needed to separate it just for the sake of aesthetics too. When Jean first showed us the design for this kitchen, she actually had put the fridge behind an antique mirrored front. It was so gorgeous, but honestly, I didn't want to look at my face every time I went for something to eat. She was very understanding and replaced it with a regular cabinet front. I'm still confused about splitting up the fridge and the freezer. I'm, it just was never on the it's periphery of any idea yeah. I ever had about anything ever in the entire, in like human existence. Yeah, it made my head explode a little bit. Yeah. And, but I can't figure out why it's a bad why thing. Why it's a bad thing. <laughs> I'm not like, oh, spit at you, I'm sorry. Oops, sorry. She catch that. Cut that spit. <laughs> I'm here in Chicago at the Merchandise Mart and I'm meeting Jean to look at all kinds of appliances. I actually can't wait to see what she's got in mind. Let's go see. The Monogram Design Center is a showroom that displays all of Monogram's latest and greatest appliances. It's actually the perfect way to see these pieces in action, but also see them in a home-like setting. So let's start with the freezer, all right? Super. Okay. This is, this is how your freezer is gonna be wow. laid out. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is only 18 inches wide. You're getting 24. Right. This is, is the, this. this is how wide a 24 inch is. What you don't see up there is a big condenser. So it's all happening down here wow. where it's completely hidden. Wow. So it really is giving us our look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On our way to see your big fridge, I want to show you what's going to, your big island, you know, kits, oh, lunch, the center. snack area. Yes. OK, open that drawer. Oh my god. Oh, hooray, look refrigerated at drawers. Yes, yes, Scott will be able to like make, keep all of the stuff in here to make lunches. There's a drawer even for Scott's terrible seltzer habit. <laughs> so now I want you to show you the 30 inch wide refrigerator column. Great, let's do okay. it. As we walked through the showroom, it became clear to me that there were three things I was really looking for in a refrigerator. One, great light that would help us see all of the food we had in our fridge. They've got three turkeys. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? That's insane. Two, some sort of alarm that would allow us to know when our refrigerator door was left open, which our kids do all the time. And three, some sort of water feature that would give us fresh, clean water whenever we needed it. So no more ugly, like, front of the fridge door no. water dispenser. No. Nope, not okay. happening. Okay. I think you'll probably see your energy bills go down. Really? To make yeah. up for the kitchen. Okay, Joe. Alex is going to show us the fully integrated dishwasher with right. the stainless tub. Let's do and it. it's got a special treat inside. Oh, uh -huh. Does it have all my dishes done for the rest of my life? <laughs> I think it might actually. Yeah. So here's the fully 
integrated oh. dishwasher. So you have what's called wash zones. So now you can wash just the top rack or just the bottom wow. rack at a time. Wow. Yep. A good dishwasher, I, I don't think you realize until you've had one, it's really hard to go back from one. I saved the best for last. I can't wait. Cooking. I'm so excited. Okay, you ready? Yes, okay. do it. Jean and I discussed the different range options, whether I should get all burners or a mix of burners and a griddle down the middle or burners and a grill top. And we ultimately decided that if I had all burners, it really would be the most practical setup for the way that we cook. Here is your stove. Hello, baby. A few key things that I loved about the ovens I was seeing were the shelves came out nice and smoothly. You didn't have to worry about fighting to pull them out. And also, the monogram ovens are able to set remotely. If I'm in the car on my way home from work, I can actually tell the oven to preheat. When you're designing a kitchen, it's important to stay on top of appliance updates and technology. Jean had clued me in on Monogram's Advantium oven, which makes it possible for us to get dinner on the table so much faster on busy weeknights. So, what do you want to cook? Chicken, whole chicken. That's whole our chicken. favorite thing. Yeah. Okay. Speed cook. It's fine. Poultry. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. okay. Bone what? in. Boneless fillet finger. What? What? Oh my oh, god. Oh, there it is. <gasps> No. Three to four pounds? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Use covered glass or a ceramic dish on metal tray. Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, no. any oven that has a chicken nugget setting is like right by my it's family. Your yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flabbergasted by what we saw today. It's gonna be insanely amazing. Okay, well I'll write everything up. Great. And we'll get it going. I can't wait. I love to integrate panels into refrigerators and freezers, and I'd love to have them become part of the, all the mill work. Personally, that's really my favorite. So we picked appliances that could accept panels in a way where it looked completely integrated into the cabinet. How you doing? Ah, lovely, how about you? <laughs> Also something important to note, installing the paneling around these appliances requires know-how. Our contractor Eric did a great job, but he ultimately needed guidance from a monogram expert before he could get to work, specifically on the fridge and freezer framework. It definitely took longer than we had expected, but hiding the appliances in the end made it totally worth it. Because we have such an active family, three kids running out to various sports and activities all the time. Jean suggested we put in LK's Easy H2O water dispenser. Installing it near the mudroom area where the kids keep their backpacks and gear makes for ideal access. Now to be fair, the install is a little complicated. You need a plumber and an electrician to get it in, but at the end of the day, we knew it was gonna be worth it. A lot of people don't think of a sink as an appliance, but it's actually an important piece of the puzzle when it comes to putting together a kitchen. Our sink was way too small for the amount of dishes we were producing daily. So when Jean designed this kitchen, she put in a 30 inch sink that's also a full foot deep. My funnest jobs are when people who really enjoy cooking have been doing it in a space that is really hard to work in with equipment that is really substandard. You're used to living a certain way and suddenly when you realize you don't have to live that way, yeah. it kind of does feel like the world is your oyster. Using the appliances in their even like their most basic way has been a pleasure. When you have nice things, you want to take really good care of them and you want to show them off to everybody. The water dispenser has changed our lives. It honestly seemed like a crazy thing to put into your kitchen, but my kids use it all the time. The sink is kind of a big deal for me, mostly because we just let dishes pile up there all the time. The great thing about the LK sink is that it also has this built-in strainer. So you put that thing on top and no one sees any kind of mess. You know, the dishwasher is so quiet Silent. that we can't, honestly, a number of times put my ear against it to see if it was running or not because I can't remember know. if I turned it on. Um, the ovens have been... They cook beautifully. They're really nice. Everything in them comes out perfect. The refrigerators, I mean, I, I laughed at the amount of refrigerator and freezer space we were going to end up with because we were just like, what are we going to do with all this? We and filled it up. Full. Yeah, we filled like, it up. Like, full. To be able to have six burners and cook at Christmas time 
with six really big pots was unreal. But also having all of this oven space to be able to bake with my daughter was amazing. The Advantium oven that we put in has sort of changed the way we cook in the evening. Like to be able to cook a whole chicken in like 35 minutes is bananas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is completely confused when they come into this kitchen about where is the refrigerator and where is the freezer. One, because they're very well hidden behind beautiful panels, but also two, because they're really on the far opposite sides of the kitchen. I love it. I'd say that it's, it feels completely natural. There's never a time where I'm at one and thinking, oh, I wish the other one was right here. That's one good. time I had to take something from the fridge to the freezer, one time. <laughs> and I was like, this is weird, but then it wasn't weird. It is functionally the way this kitchen was meant to be. And by the way, the joint does still get in the way. Oh. <laughs> you don't realize how much lighting will impact a space, but seeing it in real life really changed the game for me. This is the idea oh, I'm talking so about. Cool. It's just like a little touch of style in a place where you wouldn't expect it. Right. We're really into lighting. We feel like it's a huge piece of each one of our projects. That's why we look so good in this space. It's why we look amazing. <laughs>